Welcome on uh, this I need help at C square. In this problem we're going to look to a uh, rigid transformation, how it's called, which is translation. Whenever you see this rule, that is a translation, which is, uh, like I said, the rigid transformation, you can hear congruent transformation or isometry. So let's take a look to this problem. What do they want us to move this triangle five units left and to up. So basically we can count one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. This is the new point A if you want to use it the graphical way. A prime. A prime. Alright, so let's 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 uh, write up point A, A6, and one. How do we get the A prime? So we can get it graphically, but also we can get it Algebraic 6 minus 5, all right, 6 minus 5, and 1 plus 2. Okay, so that means, that means A prime is 1 and 3, which is right here, you see. We can do the same for point B, counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. This will be B prime, okay? And if we do the same thing here, B prime, uh, let's start to B, point B, point B has uh, what coordinates? Coordinates 1 and 2, and how do we get B prime? By adding 5 to the 1, right? So we have 1 plus 5, 6, subtracting 5, my fault, subtracting 5, 1 minus 5, Right, because it's minus 5, so it's going to be negative 4, and 2 plus 2, that will be 4, right? which is right here when we see it, right? Negative 4 and 4. What about the last one, C? The coordinate of point C are 3 and 4, so C prime, okay, we're going to take away 5, 3 minus 5, that is negative 2, and 4 plus 2, that is 6. Let's see if that is correct. One, two, three, four, five, five left, and two up. So the point C prime will be somewhere here. That that will be the triangle, which is the same like the other one, right? Just moved a little bit. If this uh, clip uh, helps, don't forget to click the like button and right. Thank you.